asking, is this presiding judge now uh, over the Flynn case, Judge Emmett Sullivan? Now, given how uh, Sullivan has been a little bit out of line along the way, um, a lot of people are wondering why he's still on the case. Like At a hearing in late 2018, Sullivan admonished Flynn for being an unregistered foreign agent of Turkey, something he wasn't even charged with. Then he asked prosecutors if Flynn could have been charged with treason, noting later that he was, quote, not hiding his disdain. I mean, I, I clerked for a couple pretty great federal judges on the appellate court, the Second Circuit, and then on the, on the Supreme Court. I, I can't imagine a sitting judge making those types of statements. Um, but Sullivan is now preventing the DOJ from dropping the case. So he's allowed now outside parties to file amicus briefs. Tonight, a salient editorial in the journal shreds the move, saying if the prosecution and defense both want to drop a case, can a federal judge refuse and sentence the defendant anyway? The easy call should be no, which makes all the more bizarre federal judge Emmett Sullivan's decision Tuesday to invite outside briefs in the Michael Flynn case, which amounts to the de facto outsourcing of the prosecution to partisan legal analysts who want Mr. Flynn to hang because he worked for President Trump. Saul, where are we here? Well, keep in mind that editorial was written before Judge Sullivan did what he did tonight, which is even more shocking. He appointed former federal judge John Gleason to be the amicus, uh, the one person amicus on that issue of what he should do with the motion to dismiss. But he also asked uh, Judge Gleason to look at whether or not uh, Michael Flynn should be held in contempt, presumably because he uh, perjured himself when he when he said he was guilty for lying to the government. That's really, really shocking. And keep in mind, uh, it's even worse than you said how he acted, how Judge Sullivan acted at that initial sentencing hearing. Keep in mind, that was the sentencing hearing. When a judge goes to sentence somebody, they're supposed to know the case frontwards and backwards. They're supposed to know all the facts. And this was at a point where both the prosecution and defense were asking for no jail time, and Judge Sullivan wouldn't let them do it. And Judge Sullivan, as you pointed out, said, you were an agent of a foreign government when you were national security advisor, which wasn't true. You sold your country out, which wasn't true. Uh, and then asked the prosecutor, is he a traitor, which of course was outrageous and not true. Why do I bring it up? Because I bring it up because it shows that uh, an intemperance of this judge having to do with this defendant. If I had been the attorney at that time, uh, I would have I would have moved to have him recused from the case. Really shocking behavior, oh, but no. that gives you an idea of what mo is motivating mm -hmm. Judge Sullivan here. Oh no, that's it. And look, as someone, we uh, we both have a lot of respect for the federal court system. We want to believe the best of people, even if we disagree with their judicial philosophy. But this just seemed vindictive at this point. And so you brought up the Clinton appointed judge, John Gleason, uh, who Sullivan just appointed to present the arguments against the DOJ's attempt to drop the case. A lot of people follow this here, okay? Just days ago, Gleason wrote this in the Washington Post. Flynn's guilt has already been adjudicated. So if the court finds dismissal would result in a miscarriage of justice, it can deny the motion, refuse to permit withdrawal of the guilty plea and proceed to sentencing. Saul. <laughs> He's wrong. Saul, no. Uh, aside, aside, yeah. Okay, hit that. Uh, aside from everything else, he's wrong. That's very, that's very misleading. In fact, under the D.C. Circuit binding circuit law, the case is, uh, has the uh, ungainly name of Fokker. Under the Fokker case, which just came out two, two years ago, the D.C. Circuit, which governs Judge Sullivan, made it very clear you cannot refuse, if the government wants to dismiss a case, the district court cannot refuse to do so because he doesn't like the government's theory, because he thinks the, gov the government should continue the case. And it doesn't matter if the defendant has pled or not. The law is clear, and former Judge Gleason, in his op-ed, made it seem like it's all up to the judge now, and it isn't. The judge has a ministerial function. Here is what's going on here. I, would, I believe Judge Sullivan is trying basically to force Donald Trump to issue a pardon if he wants uh, Mike Flynn to go free, and that's not right. 
Uh, Bill Barr has given his reason for why the case should be mm -hmm. dismissed. He's the executive branch. He represents the executive branch in the courts, and he is allowed to do that. Saul, uh, this is a lot of information, and uh, you made it really clear and easy to understand for a lot of lay people out there. Thanks so much. Thank you for having me. All right. We have more breaking news on the Russian narrative imploding now with John Solomon. He has an